probably my favorite material for sculpting is this pink alabaster comes from Greece well in principle alabaster not in principle alabaster is um, can be from very uh, soft uh, to pretty hard so there are various degrees of uh, how easy it is to uh, sculpt your alabaster or how easy it is to break your statue this one is um, sort of medium uh, first I like the I like the color it's a very uh, joyful pink I like it it's shiny it gives reflects a lot of nice light and I like this joyful feeling to the statues that I make um, it's very soft to the touch even if it when here is a little bit polished you know so it's like amazing if you I, I'm very tactile I like absolutely love touching and moving my hands over shapes is I don't know how blind people are but probably they they focus a lot of their input from life in in hands and hearing and um so that that's me i absolutely love touching things and uh here is polished as i was saying and here is not polished so after i carved out the big uh, chunks of um, stone from it i started carving it and getting closer to the details that i want and here i don't know how much you can see this one is not polished but even so it's very very soft almost like like a soap you know that that feeling i absolutely love it and um another thing is that i like about it is since i uh sculpt um small medium pieces like that and the purpose is to be able to hold it in my hand and turn it around and also for the people who buy them that they don't just place them on a the table and let the dust cover them but they can also turn it around and this is why I don't make pedestals or you know so you can leave it like that for a week and look at it like that if you want you know so because I can hold them in my hands and I have to when I sculpt them because I take them you know to look at all the angles it knowing that probably if I break it if I, I I drop it a piece would break off that gives me a f responsibility when carving this and sort of I have this feeling of protection of the thing that I'm doing here so I have to do it very slowly very carefully it's it's almost like a human being you have to deal with with it with a lot of care if you want to get good results that is you know so that is the statue I'm working on it it's called I advance masked because this guy is advancing and is heavy in this position like mm, going to insert the hand and open it sort of like discovering but he is masked well I, I don't think 
works of art, and this is not art. This is I'm just making things. All right, but in principle, I don't I don't like works of art to be translated. If they need to be to have subtitles and that it's not working for me, then it's a, a, it's a novel uh, or maybe a comic novel or because it has images and text and whatever. What I, how I I like to experience art is uh, just to look at something and. It tells me something, or it doesn't tell me something. It. Uh, I don't need critics or subtitles to tell me how to feel when I'm looking at some some piece of art. And um, again, I'm not making art. I'm just making objects. I don't like to call myself an artist. There are very few artists, the way I see it, in the history of mankind, and there are a lot of people making wonderful things that move me and change me and change other people and you don't need to be a, an artist for me is uh, such a word that has to be uh, what's the word um, n well I don't I don't remember and uh, not a, a, a term that shouldn't be used so easily as everybody's an artist and you do something with two little things and look this and that and there you see I have an installation right and a critic will come and will tell you oh the meaning of this and the artist is and the context is this you have to see here you know, like the Brexit thing, which, which is coming out of the hammer of Europe, and they are trying to break away, and oopla, that's the British, the Brexit artist, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? So, art is a, a big word, like... A, Never mind. Uh, um, this is what I'm doing, and uh, I hope some people will like it. And anyway, I absolutely love working on these things, and they make me a better person and a happier person. And isn't that the whole point of it? Da -da.